Who? What's up, guys? Welcome to Season 3, Episode 11 of the Monday Night Wars. I am Chad Talks, and joining me live, Justin in the TW Streaming House. Yes, sir. J-Mac Gaming. Yes, sir, Chad. We are here. You're in my home. I am in your home. Get out. Oh. Uh, All right, bye. Uh, 911, we have a burglary in progress. Uh, there's, a, there's an ugly looking boy in my house. <laughs> I've been kidnapped. What? Chad, this is raw. This, this is, is raw. this is raw. Not only is this raw, but this is going to be a, the first time in God knows however long that you can book without me knowing. Yeah, time to do a bunch of swerves. It's time to steal all my guys. Yes. Like I do to you. Chad, yeah, wake. You to Chad's asleep right now. I am not asleep. I'm wide awake. I'm talking. Chad, idiot. Chad's so sleepy. <laughs> I'm not sleepy. I'm wide awake. All right, let's get I gotta tell you, no one snores quite as loud as Justin. <laughs> if I had a camera and you would have saw my facial reaction to that. <laughs> Bold face lie. Chad, don't look. Oh. Oh, man. Okay, this is... We're going to start. I usually look at the... I, I, this is how I read it off. You can look it over here. I like yeah. to read it off the Streamlabs for some stupid fucking reason. Uh, Alex Wright, in the pre-show, defeats Excalibur in 1432 with an SDF. How do you feel about Excalibur? So happy Alex Wright left uh, because he wasn't being treated properly to go to the WWF so he could beat Excalibur in the pre-show. He's in a king. He's in the co-main event next week, Chad. Mm, that's a he's spoiler. in the king of the ring. That's a spoiler, Justin. Chad, you're a spoiler. We also have Teddy Hart taking on Jason Knight. Uh, and Teddy Hart wins with open heart surgery. Ooh. My favorite of all the surgeries. Yes. Uh, right next to... It is by far the best. Uh, be yeah, it feels the best. Chad is on his phone during the recording. I know, I remember I have to add something. Sitting right next to me on the phone. I remember I had to add something. The kid said, I'm tired of your booking already. <laughs> and then our last pre-show match, JBL defeats Sonny Siaki in 1505 with a powerbomb. JBL getting a 69. Nice. Nice. <laughs> we knuckled to that. That's, nice. that's so cool. We start off Monday Night Raw with Sean Stasiak coming out to the ring. Chad Stasiak is in the king of the ring. And he wants to win it, Chad. He says he's going to win the whole damn thing because, you know, he wants his revenge against uh, Brock Lesnar. He wants his revenge against Future Shock. They put him on the shelf for eight months, and he's not happy about it. Sean Stasiak says it's his destiny to do it. He's won everything else in this company. And next week, when he defeats Chad Collier... He's going to keep ah, moving on. He's going to keep moving Chad on. Collier, my ass. So he's going to move on to, and no one can stop him, not even Chad Collier. And then the rap boys come out. And Chad's like, what was this? What do, what do you say about this, Chad? I say, hang on, hang on, hang on. I must have wax in my ears. I must have, I must have been too busy looking at all of the idiots in the Madison Square Garden Fuck, I forgot to change that. Arena because did I hear you say properly, Mr. Stasiak, that you think you can beat the, the, the head rat himself, the big cheese? Well, let me tell you Ooh, the, something. The big cheese. Well, let me tell you something, Sean Stasiak. You don't stand a rat's of an ass chance at beating Chad Collier because I am the rat boy and you, Mr. Stasiak, you're nothing more than an overrated, out of style, washed up loser. And and then and then Fig says and 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 the piggyback off that, I'm gonna whoop your ass, Sean Stasiak. So we get Sean Stasiak, Big Rig Fig tonight. Yeah, get him. Fig. Actually, right now. Get him, Fig. Uh, Sean Stasiak wins though in Ugh. in 1724. Fig, you suck. Yeah, Sean Stasiak off his game, but he's still got a 95. That's because he was affected by the trash talk that came from the head cheese. Yeah, his head was all in disarray right there. <laughs> uh, we move on. Kurt Angle, the wrestling machine. This is a montage of him working out in the gym, Chad. Ooh. We love working out. He loves working out. He's hitting the weights. He's hitting the the the. Uh, he's hitting the what other what what other things do people do in the gym? 
This is show. This is exposing me for never going to they, the gym. They run. They run. They they jump. They jump. They twist and shake. This is just a board game, right? <laughs> but he also says he's gonna win the King of the Ring. All right, he's the wrestling machine. He's the Olympic gold medalist. Chad, you're dying over there. I'm not. I'm stretching. Chad's stretching. Uh, Edge and Christian are in this next match, and they go, they walk past a Steel and CM Punk, and they said, "Hey, boys." We know you got single matches later tonight in the King of the Ring, but how about you turn the TV on and you watch how a real tag team wrestles. So Edge and Christian up next, they're taking on, Chad, your favorite tag team in the world. Oh. The Brothers of oh, Construction. construction. And Edge and Christian win in 1441 when Christian pins Dozer with the inverted DDT. Chad, how do you feel about Edge and Christian getting 90s? Uh, you know... They're back, baby. They're back. They're back. And what about Dozer and Bull? They're not getting 90s. <laughs> not, not yet, at least. Not yet. Maybe not ever. Um. Oh, Kevin Kelly's interviewing Mike Tyson backstage. We are, we are told before this that Brock and Randy are not in the arena tonight here in Madison Square Garden. And Kevin Kelly says, hey, Mike Tyson. If you had to pick, who would who would you want your client Brock Lesnar to have to face at SummerSlam? Who would you th- who do you predict is going to win the King of the Ring? And Tyson just looks at him and says, "It does not matter who wins King of the Ring because at SummerSlam, Brock Lesnar will continue his dominant streak and demolish whoever steps across the ring with him." The true king of the ring is Barack Lesnar. Ooh. Oh, well, we start this king of the ring round of 32 matches off right here. Chad, let's see your prediction right here. You had Kurt Angle defeating Brian Danielson here, Chad. I did. Oh, that's YouTube. That's YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Well, oh, Kurt Angle defeats Brian Danielson. So you're one for one today, Jimmy. Uh well, you know, listen, it's just when you're when you got it, you got it. Uh yeah, Kurt Angle moves on. He defeats Brian Danielson. Uh, Brian Danielson had a good run. Uh he who did he beat, Chad? Who did he beat? He beat Sonny Siaki. So maybe not as good of a run as you thought. Man, Brian Danielson, man. He's just floundering right now. He's getting seventy sixes though. That's true. Uh, Brian Anderson, after the match, wants to shake Kurt Angle's hand. He knows how, uh, you know, influential Kurt Angle is, and he wants to show his respect. And Kurt Angle just slaps him. Ooh, and right, right in the right in the pot. Right in the pot. Kurt Angle right has no time for respect. He has to win the King of the Ring. He says. I think we got another. Oh, Triple H. This is. Game. He's in the main event tonight, taking on Kaiji Muto in the King of the Ring round of thirty-two. We move on. A steal and Kishi. Chad, you predicted Kishi to win, and you are now two and two today. Oh, look at me! I'm so smart. I'm so smart. Kishi defeating A steal in seventeen nineteen. Got a ninety. Good Listen, lord! I'm sorry for a spoiling st- your bracket. A steal outperformed Kishi. Ooh. Oh no! Oh no! Mr. Money in the Bank. Mr. King of the Mountain. Kishi. Mr. King of the Mountain. Uh, and another one, Rock defeating CM Punk in 1605 with the Hurricane DDT. Chad. Oh, man. You also predicted this one, but you also you also predicted Scott Vick over CM Punk. Yeah, for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. So, Chad, technically three and three. Yep, look at me. Uh, yeah, Rock. I'm just trying to stack the roster so that way all of them can fall to Chad Collier. <laughs> Second... <laughs> Oh, it made me laugh. I'm dying all over here. Second City Saints, they're in the gorilla position. Now they're walking back. They're both hurt. They're both mad. And uh, they, you know, Edge and Christian's still there after their big win. And they laugh at CM Punk and Ace Steel. And they laugh right in their faces at the Raw Tag Team Champions. How oh, disrespectful. And they don't take that kindly. And they start, they, they punch Edge and Christian. They how, start brawling in the back, Chad. How disrespectful. Well, I think we that leads into our main event of the night. Triple H... Kaiji Muto, Ch- can Chad go four for four? I certainly can. Oh, 99. Triple H defeats Kaiji Muto in 1930 with an ace crusher. Big win for Triple H, Chad. A big win. I mean, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Chad goes four for four. Come on. It's a come 99. On. Come, on. Come, on. come on. Come on. Come on. After the match, Triple H 
says he is coming for future shock. He says, well, Brock, Randy, Tyson, I'm coming for your ass. When I win this King of the Ring, I'm taking that belt off of you at SummerSlam. I'm beating the streak, and I'm ending the future. 96. Come on. 96. Come on. Come on. Can Chad beat that? Oh, we will. Nah. We mm. certainly will. Not going to happen. Listen, I am confident that I'm going to embarrass you in your own home. Oh. Your own home, Justin. Oh, that's all right. Life embarrasses you everywhere else. Right. <laughs> We'll see you for... Uh... You feel good about that one? Did you feel good about that one? I'll make you laugh. Funny guy. Yes. That's that's why I audibly laughed. They could hear it. You oh. didn't need to ask that. You could have heard it. Heard it. Heard it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, anyone wants to fill out an application to be the new guest host in this show <laughs> series, uh, fill out a... Just hit me up on Discord and my phone number. Blah, 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 blah. We'll you see. You wouldn't get rid of me. We... He's on his phone. We'll see you for night, Joe. And we are here with the premier wrestling show, the best show on Monday nights. And listen, I don't care what the game says. The game, the game is kind of like you know how when like those movies like get nominated for Academy Awards and they get like those stellar reviews, but really they're not that good. No. That's kind of what, what is Raw that? is. And Nitro, Nitro is like. Uh, that that superhero blockbuster that everyone loves, but like critically get torn apart. That's Nitro. No, it's not. No, it's not. You had Hardcore Holly defeating Sabu last week. And that was sick. Look at it. The people loved it. You had Carly Cologne. All right. Let's get into it, Chad. I'll let you control the mic. Yes. I mean the mouse. We have a pre-show bout that had decent wrestling, but not much heat, Justin, as the FBI defeat uh, Thrasher and Zandig when Johnny Stamboli pinned Thrasher. So I think Mosh was hurt. So, Zandig was a headbanger Zandig today. Oh, Mosh number two. Yes. Thrash number two. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and so, yeah, that happened. And, uh, you know, just get FBI a little win on the pre-show. Look at them. Okay. And we start the show off. This got a 67. Oh, no. Oh, this is what happens when I let you run the promos. Oh, no. This is why I book your stuff. Oh, no. What did I do wrong? Oh, my God. I booked him on overness and mic quality. Did you? Did you? I, Don't, I never book anyone on overness. Oh. Well, Just straight up Mike. <clears throat> well, anyway, um, Chris Jericho comes down to the ring, and he, you know, he gloats over his big win against uh, McFoley. He says, you know, once again, this run just isn't stopping. I'm the best WCW World Heavyweight Champion, and I am on cloud nine. Everyone's wondering when is this when is this run gonna end? When is Chris Jericho gonna lose the belt? And everybody thinks, oh, it's it's the next match. It's the next match. They thought it was gonna be Scott. They thought it was gonna be Mick. But every single month, every single week, every single match, I just continue to break your heart. I guess that's I guess they should really call me the heartbreak kid, huh? And then Shawn Michaels music hits and he comes down to the Just ring. Just a sexy boy. Sexy boy. And he says, "You know, Chris, when I came to WCW, I came for a lot of reasons. You know, there are a lot of men that I wanted to wrestle, a lot of talented young talent that I wanted to wrestle. But at the end of the day, there was only one man who I knew I had to wrestle. And I'm looking at him in the ring right now, Chris. You see, you get a lot of comparisons from, about, uh, from me. A lot of people are saying, Chris Jericho, you know, you're, 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 you're the next Shawn Michaels. You're the next Shawn Michaels. Everyone here is on the internet, on the streets. Well, guess what, Chris? You can't be the next Shawn Michaels because Shawn Michaels is still here. And I came to WCW to win that championship. And that's why I came out at Clash of Champions to stare you down. Because I'm officially making a challenge for that belt tonight. Ooh. And then Jericho's like, Sean, Sean, who needs, Sean. Who needs a pay-per-view? Shawnee Free boy. TV. He says, Shawnee boy, Shawnee boy, Shawnee boy. Listen. I can't wait to see how you fuck that match up. You don't get to just come out here, demand a belt... There are people who have been here way longer 
who are far more deserving of a world title match. I don't know who the hell you think you are. But I'll be damned if I put my belt on the line against a man who's only wrestled, what, two matches on WCW? Three? Three? Doesn't really matter how many because it's still not enough to warrant a belt. It doesn't matter what you did at the other company. It matters what you do here, and you haven't done anything here. Sit down. So, uh, no, I can't. I'm stand up. I'm excited. And Hulk Hogan comes out and he says, "You know what? Some. You know what? You know. You know, brother. Let me tell you something. All right. I I heard people telling me all night last night about how excited they were for a Shawn Michaels Chris Jericho match. And I'll tell you what. All right. People in the Amway Arena, they don't want to wait till the pay per view. They want to have it right here tonight, brother. So I'll tell you what, Chris Jericho, I'm gonna make you defend your championship in the main event. Tonight, it's going to be Shawn Michaels versus Chris Jericho in the main event, brother. And Jericho, he's pissed. But Shawn Michaels, he, he's like smiling. And Jericho, you know, he, uh, he, he starts throwing a tantrum and he turns around right into a sweet chin music. Oh, man, that's not good. That's not good, And we chin. get to our next segment. A six-man tag, Justin. Hulk Hogan announced via the WCW website that at Great American Bash, of course... Of course, <laughs> what? Of course, at Great American Bash, the U.S. Championship is always the main event. And Justin, Good God, what is this? Why did and Justin <laughs> and Justin and Justin, we're gonna have ourselves a a this this year's no exception because at the main event at Great American Bash, we are having ourselves a scars and stripes match. Now, what's a scars and stripes match? You're asking yourself. Well, I'm glad you ask. These six men are going to be in the ring. The only way to win is to plant an American flag on top of a ladder. You have to climb the ladder, <laughs> and then you have to plant the flag. Why is Taka in this match? Because, because there was, listen, Hulk Hogan handpicked the match. These six men have, you know, are, 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 you know, are good wrestlers, and Hulk Hogan wanted to see what they could do. Hardcore Holly, good wrestler. Listen, listen. So and uh, and so and so these are the six men that are going to be in it: Hardcore Holly, Taka Michinoku, Shane Douglas, Mick Foley, Chris Benoit, and Chris Canyon. Or sorry, just Canyon. And Hulk Hogan wanted to see what they had to do tonight, I so he put them in a six-man tag. You had Foley, Benoit, Canyon lose, <laughs> and a super match. <laughs> Hardcore Holly, Taka Michinoku, Taka Michinoku, and Shane Douglas defeated Mick Foley, Chris Benoit, and Canyon. When Hardcore Holly pinned Canyon with a flying leg drop. Good fucking god, Chad. What are you doing? Oops. Hey. Oops. My bet. My arm said, "Be careful <laughs> with the desk." And uh, but yeah, Justin, look at this. Uh, Mick Foley putting up a ninety six in this match, and he lost. And Benoit put up a ninety three, and he lost. And Canyon put up an eighty two, and he lost. And Hardcore Holly putting up a sixty four, and he won. Yes, I see nothing wrong. Okay, next segment. There you go. I'm letting Chad grab the the mouse this time, so this is why it's taking. We days. are backstage, Paul. Actually, no, we're not backstage. We're in the ring, and Paul Heyman. He's got the tag team champions, the Paul Heyman boys, Rob Van Dam and Minoru Shane Suzuki. He says, "You know, last month I combined two parties together: the XWO and the Paul Heyman guys, and now we're one." Big Paul Heyman happy family. And listen, these two men, Rob Van Dam and Suzuki, very talented wrestlers. And this is just, this is going to be a historic tag team title run. And we start that dominance off tonight. These two men are going to be in in-ring action. And I just hope you all sit back and relax and watch these two one of a kind tag team wrestlers <laughs> tonight. One of a kind. And Justin, uh, Minoru Suzuki oh. and Rob Van Dam, they take on the Road Warriors. And then about that, good wrestling and decent reaction from the crowd. Rob Van Dam, Minoru Suzuki defeated Road Warrior Animal and Road Warrior Hawk. When Suzuki pinned Road Warrior Animal. There you go. Got an 86, Justin. Yeah, because the Road Warriors stink. Or do they? Ugh, or do they just stink enough? Oh my God, Jen! <laughs> I'm gonna have to look over everything. No, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just only do microphone, if that's what you do. Um, D'Lo Brown and Big Daddy V, they get in the, they, they, they get you the book Big Daddy V and D'Lo and Overness. No, I booked them both on Menace. Yeah, D'Lo Brown, guys, the Menace, because they're tough guys. 
Uh, D'Lo Brown and Big Daddy V, they come out and uh, they, they, they say, you know, uh, we want a rematch for the tag team titles. They weren't even champs. You're right, but they want a rematch. <laughs> yes, they were. Yes, they were. Uh, no, they were. Yes, they were. Were they fucking? They were. Yeah, yes, they uh, were. I guess. Okay. I they were. You. Yeah. I believe you. <laughs> and we've got this ourselves. Did better. This a, did better than the last one. We've got ourselves a tough enough. Promo battle, Justin. These five Nitro Tough Enough rookies are going to go toe-to-toe in a promo off. And, Justin, this month is the first month of eliminations. Ooh. So one person from this competition will be oh, eliminated. Just one from the whole competition. Not, one from the whole competition. Not one correct. from each? No, one from, one from the whole competition. <clears throat> this is crazy, Justin. It's going to be one... So basically, the Nitro guys are going to compete, uh, and the Thunder guys are going to compete, and the two that do the worst are going to face off at Great American Bash, and the loser of that match is going to go home. I actually love that concept right there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Chad doing something right. And I'm going to randomize it, so it's truly, uh, we don't know. All right. Hey, I like it. Yeah. So anyway, this is a promo battle, um, and uh, Justin, do you want to hear what their promos were? Okay. Uh, well, after that, they uh, basically they all get, do promos, and eventually somebody offends Dave Batista, and Batista just spears somebody, and then they break out into a match. And in an abysmal match, Eddie Cologne defeated Carly Cologne, Batista, Palumbo, and Ken Anderson when, oh no, Eddie Cologne pinned Dave Batista oh, with an outward rolling my cutter. Oh God, Eddie Cologne and Bret Hart, baby. <laughs> Shawn Michaels is backstage, and he says... My match is coming up soon. My world title match, my first opportunity at the WCW belt. And I got to tell you, I've held a lot of world championships in my life. Has he? But this belt right here, this belt means more to me than than all those belts. Because this belt, the the men who have held this belt, Dusty Rhodes, Ric Flair, you know, uh, the Sting... Hulk Hogan, the oh. list goes on and on. True titans, oh, two true titans of our industry, and I, I'm, I'm hoping I can add my name to that list. But more importantly, I'm hoping I can super kick that smug, shit-eating grin off of Chris Jericho's face once and for all. I'm bringing that belt home. It's coming to age with HBK. But first, we've got a singles match. Goldberg, the new global champion, Justin, defeats Alfred Snow with a jackhammer. What a match. This one, 11 minutes? This did go 11 minutes. Good lord. And then Chris Jericho cuts a promo, and he says, Shawn Michaels, you think you have what it takes to beat me? You embarrassed me. In the ring today with your cheap shot. You call yourself a champion, but then you're going to attack a man when his back is turned. You say, you say, I'm a, you, everyone says I'm a prick. Everybody says I'm a coward. Sean, you're the biggest coward of them all. You're a coward because not only did you kick me in the head when my back was turned earlier tonight. But you literally packed up your ball and left the other company you worked for because you knew at the end of the day, you just couldn't cut it. So you decided to come here to the company that's quote unquote worse off, but yeah, Sean. It's not quote unquote. But Sean, that other company doesn't have Chris Jericho. Yeah, but we are have the ratings. I don't know who keeps saying that. Yeah, they're not here. It's just me and the announce and the interviewer. Sean, you're overrated. Yeah. The only thing you're good for is putting on tag team matches with Olympic gold medalists and defending the belt once a year. You've not. You're nothing, Sean. And I'm going to prove just how overrated you are. The biggest signing of WCW history. More like the biggest waste of money in WCW history. No, I'll see you out bomb. there, Shawn Michaels. That would be El Hijo Del Santo. But first, Justin, we got WCW Women's Champion Queen Charmel having her qu- royal decree tonight. Yeah. Queen Charmel's in the ring. She's in her th- we got a throne, got her crown, cape, and scepter. We look over here, we got Cutie Suzuki and Trish Stratus. Why did I lose my Nami Toyota? <laughs> well, one, forgot, forgot all one more for the good guys. Um, she says, I hereby decree with my royal council of Cutie Suzuki and Trish Stratus you that paid I... You a bag for it, didn't you? I did. Queen Charmel am here to finally bring some decorum, some prestige, some, some royal valor 
to the women's championship. No more will it be defended with these these peasants, China. These peasants like Debbie Malenko. Finally, the women's championship can have the 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 honor that it deserves because I am your queen and while I am your queen I will rule with a just but firm hand and she said everybody please stand up and give your queen the the respect she deserves and everyone's booing right yeah. but then China comes out and she says you know what Charmel she says oh oh I'm sorry China that's that's Queen Charmel and China, you know, she says, oh, I'm sorry, your highness. And she says, oh, yes, thank you. That's the respect I deserve. She says, listen, I'm going to give you a royal beating at, ba at Great American Bash because I'm getting my rematch against you. And she says, China, what makes you think you deserve a rematch? You know, I, I hear in WCW, things aren't just handed to you. You have to earn them. That's and I'm sorry, <clears throat> but you haven't earned anything. And I, I don't think I'm going to allow you to get in the ring with, <clears throat> with, with the royal champion again. And she says, well, then how about I just kick your ass tonight? Ooh. And then Debbie Malenko and Manami Toyota follow behind. And Justin, they do just that. They run to the ring to get in a good old brawl. Six-man tag? <clears throat> Six-man tag. And then about that decent wrestling, but didn't have much heat. China, Debbie Malenko, and, to and Manami Toyota defeated Queen Charmel, Q Suzuki, and Trish Stratus when Trish Stratus intentionally got counted out while fighting China. Mm. Basically, uh, they all Queen Charmel just said, "Tell with this, let's go," and they all just left. Mm. So Debbie Malenko made best in ring performance. Yeah. And it's our main event, Justin. Are you ready? And about Please fuck this match oh. that had sensational wrestling and fantastic heat. Shawn Michaels. Defeated Chris Jericho by pinfall after he leaked. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, right, we fucked that right up. I told you. What did you do? Oh. I'll keep going. Okay. Um. Anyway. So basically, this match was supposed to end with Shawn Michaels getting uh, interference. Um. He, uh, someone was gonna interfere and screw Shawn Michaels, and I don't know why it didn't. But regardless of what <laughs> happened, Shawn Michaels, Justin, he used the ring ropes for leverage, and he beats Chris Jericho, and we have a new world champion. Yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> and <sh> <laughs> It's so vicious. <laughs> it's so vicious. You, you ruined the Jericho reign for Sid Vicious. <laughs> So basically what was supposed to happen was Shawn Michaels was going to get like a sweet chin music. Like Jericho was going to knock the ref down. The ref goes down. Michaels, sweet chin music, gets like the the, the visual one, two, three, right? Mm -hmm. And then eventually the ref was going to come back to his feet. They were going to continue wrestling. And then right when Jericho was about to lose for real, there was going to be in-ring interference. Sid Vicious was going to run out and screw Shawn Michaels. And that was going to be the match. There we go. I'm not quite sure what happened because I know I booked interference you did. finish. You did. And I know I booked the cheap win. Maybe that's what happened. I interfered him, and um, that was it. But regardless, Shawn Michaels, brother, <laughs> wins the world title. <laughs> Got an 80. <laughs> this match should have got a 100, but you put it on Nitro, where you know you have bad chemistry on your announcers, and you let yourself book it instead of me. <laughs> It's not good here, Chad. Not good. Not good. We'll see you for we'll see you for SmackDown. <laughs> I gotta I gotta I gotta put Chad through TW booking training right now. <laughs> good lord. And we are here with SmackDown, Justin. Justin, let's see if uh, let's see if SmackDown can top Nitro. And Chad, I don't even have to run a show to top Nitro. That shit. It got an eighty. It got uh, an eighty. Yeah, you would be happy with that in our first three months of booking, not. Five years later. I'm like, don't yawn during listen, my show. Listen, I'm just preparing myself for the snore fest that's coming our way. At least I booked my shit correctly. <laughs> Where's it vicious? <laughs> uh, Chad, we got a pre-show here. Oh, look who's look who's now here, Chad. Oh. It's Aaron Stevens. It's Aaron Stevens. It's his, uh, it's his tryout match. Uh, and he's taking on Kane in the pre-show. And I don't know why I made it 14 minutes long. It's a hell of a tryout. Good for you, but uh, Kane wins, and uh, Kane Kane's been on a, a little bit of a down down slide lately. Um, but he gets a big win here. Yeah. 
against a very worthy opponent of Aaron Stevens. Listen, he debuted his prima donna gimmick, and it got very good. Oh, well, world champion. Uh, just incredible, actually. Speaking of, you know, this guy's just incredible. <laughs> uh, he got hurt back in November at Survivor Series, and he's uh, he, he just became healthy today. He makes his in-ring return, and he takes on Jake the Snake. Jake, well, how about you fall on a Lake Roberts? And uh, tapped him out in 1017. Uh, Jake Roberts was visibly tiring he toward the end. Tapped out the principal. All right, I see. That's just... uh, unbelievable. All right, let's start to show off, Chad. We don't even start with anyone huge. We start off with the man, the myth, the legend, Chad. Ooh. Can you guess who that is? And we're starting off with the man, the myth. Uh, I'm going to say Scott Steiner. Clyde the Glide <laughs> Flanders. <laughs> Flanders. He wants... He's got a match up next, Chad. He's got a match. He's got a lot to think. He's got a lot to stay, say. And he defeats Bam Bam Bigelow. Oh, Ooh. they have pretty good chemistry. Ooh. Did you change his name to Bam Bam recently? No, it's been Bam Bam for a while. Oh. It's just because you don't pay attention. I guess not. It's because you're on your phone during the recording. That's not true. That's whatever. Uh, Clyde Flanders defeats Bam Bam Bigelow. Bam Bam in 1505 with a... With a pile driver. Hey. I was finishing your sentence. Yeah. 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 Uh, Clyde Flanders. <laughs> Him and Kimberly have great chemistry. So. Oh, cool. Um, and then after the match, you know, Clyde Flanders wants some damn respect about around here, Chad. So he's calling out the men, you know, a big, a big influential group here on SmackDown. You know, if these guys can't have any more respect. And he's calling out... The Gentleman's Club. Ooh. He's calling out Booker. He's calling out Flair. He's calling out Randy. He's calling out Arn. He wants he wants some damn respect. And he says he's going to beat it out of him. But I'm Clyde Flanders. Uh, then we move on. Rob Conway and Savan Granier. La, LA Resistance. La Resistance defeat TNT when Savan Granier defeats Pins. I feel, like, I feel like I've seen this before. Oh, well, you have, but Rob Conway wasn't part of it. Oh. It was always Rene Dupree. Oh. So this is a first-time matchup here. Oh. Uh, and then, you know, those three celebrate in the ring, but they also said, hey, uh, Latin lover, hey, Chavo, we're coming for those belts, buddy. We're coming for those belts. You had to win them in a four-way match at WrestleMania. You can't beat us two-on-two. Two. You can't beat us without any other tag teams in the match because we're a law of resistance. No one can beat us. No one. Backstage, Daniels and Tajiri... They're having a good old time. They're having a. They're, <laughs> they're playing. A good old time. They're playing mousetrap. Okay. Uh, they're just hanging out. They're just because they, they 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 know that they don't want their friendship to go down the drain because of this next match, Chad, which is a King of the Ring round of thirty two match, which you predicted Daniels to win, but you didn't even predict predict Tajiri to win uh, his first round match. So you did predict Daniels to move on here, right here. If you can't see it. I did, I did see it. I'm just looking at my record. So Chad predicted Daniels. Can he go five straight? And he does. Five straight. I knew they didn't have any chemistry, which was not good for this match. But it does not matter. Chris Daniels, your light heavyweight champion, moves on to the round of 16, Chad. Good for Chris Daniels. Could he become king of the ring? Chad says no. No. Chad has him losing next round. Yes. Kid Cash, he's in a big match next week. He's in his King of the Ring match. He's taking on Jeff Jarrett in the round of 32, Chad. Kid Cash, so this is just a, this is King of the Ring 2001. It's gonna be it's gonna be always remembered as the start of Kid Cash. No, it's gonna be the end of Kid Cash and the start of Man Cash because he's a man now. Ooh. He's a man. He's a man, Chad. Kid Cash. He's taking on Jeff Jarrett next week. You had Kid Cash moving on to at least to the round of eight. Damn. John Cena is warming up. He's got the biggest match of his life here, Chad. He's taking on Stone Cold Steve Austin in our main event of the night in the round of 32 King of the Ring match. Chad, do you think John Cena 
the former TNA World Champion can can do the upset here and beat Stone Cold Steve Austin? No. Why not? Cause. Well, we move on. Scott Steiner in a King of the Ring match defeats Rene Dupree. In That's f- right, Rene Dupree, you son of a bitch. I have your number. One, two, three. You're a bitch. <coughs> uh, you didn't even have uh, Rene Dupree in this match. You said Kane. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Kane lost. Yeah. Round of 64. Yeah. Big loss right there. Probably the biggest upset in the first round. Rene Dupree, though, he, he gets a win in the King of the Ring. But he doesn't make it very far. But still, big win. Another King of the Ring match right here, Chad. They got called out earlier. Now they have to wrestle Ric Flair, Randy Savage. Ric Flair moves on. Chad, Ric Flair taps out the macho man, Randy Savage. Oh, yeah. What a match this was. Ric Flair, Randy Savage in 2001. Chad, you actually did not have Flair moving on. That was your first loss. You had Jamie Noble. Um. Even if it was Savage here, you would have Savage over Flair. You're now you're, you're now six or seven, Chad. It's not good. Not good. Stone Cold makes his way down to the ring, though, Chad, in our, for our main event. Stone Cold and John Cena. That's later. <laughs> but, but I'm making my way downtown, walking past, and I'm on bound. What? What? Ugh. We gotta get these guys are backstage, and there, there's, there's some, there's something going on because next week, our main event, Eddie Guerrero, Chavo Guerrero, is the main event, Chad, King of the Ring, and you know these, they don't, you don't want to see two brothers fight, you don't want to see two Guerrero Dojo mem- members uh, fight, and they're just trying to, and Eddie's trying to calm, or Chavo's trying to calm down Eddie. He's like, it's gonna be all right. Eddie, this is not good. This match isn't going to tear us apart. You know, this is just the this is just the start of Chavo Guerrero Jr. He's going to win King of the Ring, uh, and I'm going to win the world. What do you mean you're going to win the King of the Ring, Chavo? I'm going to win the King of the Ring, and I'm I'm going to face uh, fucking psychosis at SummerSlam, and I'm going to win the belt back. Chavo's like, you know, I'm going to do it. So, and guys, stop it, both of you. Because I'm going to win King of the Ring. And I'm going to take them. And these guys, oh, Guerrero Dojo. A little tension in the room here. Tension. A little tension in the room. Latin Lover takes on uh, Mystico next week and Eddie and Chavo. Our main event, though, Stone Cold and John Cena. That's what I predict. That's what I thought. 87. John Cena's just not there, but Stone Cold wins with a Thez Press. Oh, blue. Didn't even bust out the sp- Jobbing out to a Thez Press, John Cena. <laughs> 1657. A dream match, some would say. Not in 2001. Stone Cold, you did predict them. So you did go 7 and for 8 in the first half of the round of 32, Chad. Are you happy with I'm that? so smart. You, I don't know how smart you are. You, I'm so smart. You predicted you to win. Chad Collier will win the match because it's so fair. I got it. Okay, there we go. Now we can see it all. Um, yeah, and then next week we'll see all these matches right here and all of these matches right here, Chad. A big one next week. Chad versus Stasek could fuck your bracket up. It's not going to fuck my bracket <laughs> up. Chad's got him right where he wants him, baby. Uh, all right, we'll st- and then after the match, Stone Cold calls for some Steve Weisers. <laughs> one, two, he throws some to Cena. One, two, they, they drink. <laughs> And then Stone Cold stuns him to end the show, Chad. Oh, yeah. 86. 86. Still better than Nitro. Still better than Nitro. I'm, I'm, I'm so confident right now. Yeah? I'm going to write one down for WWF here this oh, week. Listen, don't do that. Don't you count your pies yet. Uh, I don't think you're beating a 96, Chad. No, but this is Thunder. Yeah. The A show. When you have five tough enough guys on there, I don't think you're going to do it. Listen. I don't think a uh, show with the... Uh, I don't even remember the Tough Enough guys on Thunder because I don't care enough to remember their names. Oh, Mike Sanders. <laughs> My point exactly. Oh. We'll see you for Thunder. All right, everyone. Get ready for the best wrestling show of the week. Yeah, we already had that. It was Raw. No, it was going to be Thunder. Chad. No, it's not. It's going to be. Chad, we, we all know this. It's going to be Thunder. We watched... We saw you book last time. 
Listen, I've learned from my mistakes. Get off my this one's gonna get be off better. My this chair. one's gonna be better. Watch. I gave you a chair to sit in. Just watch. Sit in your chair. <laughs> Just watch. This is gonna be better. Just watch. I'm excited. I have to stand. I have to stand. Samoa Joe comes out. He's got his Universal, his Television, and the 24/7 Championships. Ah, th- Samoa three belts over here. Mm-hmm. He comes down to the ring and he says, "Yo, a clash of champions. I made Ken Shamrock my bitch." He said, I did what I always do, which was beat people up. And now, who's next? Who's going to be the guy? Who's going to step up and try to beat Samoa Joe? I got to tell you, if you were smart, if you were smart, you'd all be trying to get your releases to either Nitro or uh, another company. Because there's nowhere on Thunder you can run, and there's nowhere on Thunder you can hide. Samoa Joe is the best. Mm. This is my brand. Mm. And Sylvester Stallone, he shows up and he says, you know what, Samoa Joe? You know what? At, th- at, at, at Great American Bash, you're going to go one-on-one against Ken Shamrock again for his Universal Championship because it was a fluke. All right, it was a fluke that you won. Ken Shamrock could beat you, but he was just having a bad day. You know, he's a little under the weather. But there'll be no excuses at, at, at Great American Bash, and we're going to have that match inside a steel cage. And Samoa Joe says, listen, I've embarrassed your boy once. I'll do it again. I'll tap him out. I'll pin him. I'll knock him out. I don't care. In a steel cage? Hell yeah. Know where he can run. No excuses. But I'll tell you what, Sylvester Stallone, how about before you book me in some kind of match tonight with some chicanery, how about I challenge one of your boys tonight in the main event? You see, you're going to book me to face Ken Shamrock for the Universal title, but that's fine. But how about I defend the television championship tonight? Because I'm a fighting champion. So tonight, your boy Vader, he's going to go one-on-one against me for the TV title. And Sylvester Stallone, you know, he says, you know what, Samoa Joe? I agree. So, 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 so Justin, Samoa Joe versus Vader, television championship tonight. Hell yeah. Well, I'm not excited for that. Oh, you should be. I and we got a tag team match. Low Shark Boy and Low D taking on Mike and Mike, brother. Listen, look at this. I'm looking at it, brother. Look at this. Look at this. Stop booking Quack and 74. And we've got the promo battle from the five Thunder rookies, Justin. Much like we did on Nitro. Now remember, these five men are gonna are gonna do a promo battle, and whoever does the worst, Justin, whoever does the worst is. Gonna have to wrestle whoever did the worst on Nitro to who, face elimination. Who did the worst? We'll have to find out. And then about that subpar wrestling and that's in the crowd here. Mike Sanders defeated Charlie Haas, Shelton Benjamin, Claudio, and Chris Harris when Sanders pinned Shelton Benjamin with a 3.0. Did you randomize this winner? I did. Oh my god. I did randomize this winner. Mike Sanders. Mike Sanders going over. on a roll. He might win it all. He's been he's done he's done the best, I think. Oh. Yeah. Justin Raven shows up. And he's cutting a promo, and he says, you know, Samoa Joe, you talked about people running and hiding. Well, guess what? Raven never runs, and Raven never hides. What has Raven done to become number one contender? So, Samoa Joe, you were on my, you were on my radar, and eventually our paths are going to cross, and when they do... I'm going to be the guy who finally beats Samoa Joe, and I'm going to be the guy who becomes universal Do we both have big streaks going on? We might. I hate that. But, Justin, we got Steven Regal versus Raven in a good match, a superb match. Steven Regal defeats Raven with a Regal stretch. Ooh. Ooh. So Steven Regal taps out Raven, got an 89. What do you know about that? It was a good match, Justin. Got an 89. Look at that. Yeah, it was pretty good. Raven busting out a 92. You say it like he doesn't always. I know. We got the Team Canada. They're over here. They're here. Now, we heard that at Great American Bash, there's going to be a Scars and Stripes match where you have to hang an American flag Ooh. on top of a ladder. He says, and that, my friends, is bullshit. All right, listen. Where's the Canadian Scars and Stripes match? Where's our flag? All right, that's, it's ridiculous, and it's ridiculous that you people support that. So I'll tell you what, Team Canada, we want to have, we want to we, we wanna, we wanna let out some frustrations. So we're having an open challenge. Any two men in that locker room that want to come out and face us tonight to give themselves a little scars and stripes, if you know what we're saying. Whatever it's going to be. 
and Justin, and about that good oh. wrestling <laughs> and decent reaction from the crowd, AJ Styles and Rey Mysterio defeat Team Canada when Rey Mysterio pinned Bobby Roode with a Mysterio Rana, Justin. Look at that. Look at that. AJ and Rey. Yeah. Adre. Yeah. Or Ray J. Poor, I kind of like the team Ray poor J. Poor AJ, man. Was just world champion a month and like two months ago. He's teaming with Ray Mysterio right now. Look at that. That's what I'm saying. Shannon Moore backstage. He says, listen, I'm the Cruiserweight champion. I got the Cruiserweight classic victory. You know, I just I see so many people here trying to get in the mix for championships. And it makes me think, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time. Or maybe maybe we'll hold off a little bit. Who knows? At the end of the day, it's my decision. But I'm the Cruiserweight champion. And I am arguably on, a, on the biggest role of my career and perhaps the future of the company. Oh, we'll have to see. I'm in a match tonight. Let's see how I fare. Why is he talking like that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, Justin, we got a 90. <laughs> Who, who knows how I'm going to do? Who knows? Am I going to be the future of the company? I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to see. Uh, Chad, am I? <laughs> <laughs> but Justin, in this this match got a 90 in a superb match. Owen Hart defeats Scotty Tuhati with a sharpshooter. Oh. Scotty Tuhati and Owen Hart have pretty good chemistry and it lifted their match. Good. Cool. Look at that, Justin. I, I'm looking at Scottie it. Scotty Tuhati and Owen Hart got good chemistry. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Where's Grandmaster Sexy? I think he's hurt. Oh, he came back. Oh, he did? Oh, well, look at that. Uh, and Justin, then, AJ Styles and Rey Mysterio, they're backstage, and they say, listen, listen, anybody who, 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 who picks on America picks on us. <laughs> That's it? That was the promo? <laughs> no. <laughs> you have fallen off. Nonsense. Where's the where's the where's the where's the love and the passion the Prongle had? But Justin, we got where did, where did it go? We got a, a, a great wrestling and good heat. Shannon Moore defeats Stardust with a morgasm. Justin, look at this. Yeah, I'm looking at look it. Look at Chad. this. It sucks. No, it's not got an 88. <laughs> oh, figure figure insulted me in a group chat. And our main event, Samoa Joe versus Vader in a good match. Samoa Joe defeats Vader with an avalanche driver. And Samoa Joe makes defense Avalanche three Island driver. Of the WCW World Television title, Justin. Look at this. What do you think of this? This match. This was a rushed thunder, I think. I don't think it was rushed. It's seven minutes long, buddy. I don't think it was rushed. Your thunders used to go like 18 minutes. Hey, we're not done yet. We're not done yet because Samoa Joe, we're not, we got still, we got some more show to do, brother. Nah. Samoa Joe, he's, he's holding up his television championship, and then he gets attacked, Justin, by Ken Shamrock. And Sid Vicious. Si uh, no, not Sid Vicious. Uh, Sylvester Stallone gets in the ring, too. And, Siv and, and listen, and Vader gets back up, and they're all beating him down, but Samoa Joe, he keeps fighting them all off. Ba 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 ba. But then, Justin... The new member of Tap Out Crew shows up. Oh my god. Are you ready for the newest member of Tap Out Crew? Who do you think it is? I have no idea. You have not. Bob Sap is here. <laughs> I don't know that. Ah! <laughs> Justin, Bob Sap is here. And the four of them beat down Samoa Joe and stand tall. Look at this, the tap out crew, Justin. Mm. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Huh? And then they got an 83. It, thunder sucks. It's not an 83. WCW's dead. Chad no. can't book a show to listen, save his life. Listen, Nitro will be better, I promise. Than an 83? I promise. It'll be better. I promise. <laughs> God, for your sake, I hope so. <laughs> we'll see you for in fact, In fact, I'm calling it now. Nitro gets show of the week. Next week? Yeah. Are you going to have Jericho Owen Hart again? <laughs> <laughs> Some main event like that? We'll see you for episode 12, where Chad learns to book. <laughs>